Hi. Uh, I'm Adriana Baranek uh, and you're watching this channel. Here with me again is Mladen Baranek, our CTO. Hi. And today we will be talking about improving on Excel, quick wins. Um, the today's topic is very interesting, in fact, because Excel, even though it is like an ugly duckling of ERPs of the world, uh, it is still used in many work processes. Um, can you tell us um, a little bit more about the history of Excel? So Excel started in 1985 and it was one of the spreadsheet calculators that uh, finally became integrated with Microsoft Office applications and somehow uh, today it is uh, one of tools that run enterprises and most corporations mm -hmm. are using uh, table uh, calculators to perform number of uh, different tasks. Mm -hmm. So uh, initially it was used mainly for financial uh, purposes, so for, for various calculations, but today it can be used for uh, smaller databases, forms, uh, uh, business process management, uh, reporting. So it's not only confined to uh, finance, mm -hmm. it is very versatile tool that is uh, for a small set of data used for reporting, for mm -hmm. presentations, you can do a lot of uh, analysis, uh, charts and express your ideas in a, a way that is uh, 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 not possible with other tools and mm -hmm. it gives uh, employees a lot of capabilities uh, they can personally uh, use and they do not need IT mm -hmm. or uh, bigger applications or uh, 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 development to do mm -hmm. a lot of uh, tasks so mm -hmm. that, that's one of the reasons why uh, table calculators are so popular and Excel is one of the oldest still alive mm -hmm. and most used at the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, in, in theory a company should have an extensive like uh, enterprise resource planning tool like SAP or something similar but in practice lots of those work processes that are not covered with you big ERP uh, uh, is usually handled in Excel. Yes, yeah, so uh, with the advent of uh, internet and uh, corporate emails, mm -hmm. there are specific use cases of Excel tables, for example, for uh, data gathering. Mm -hmm. So usually you have to find uh, a victim mm -hmm. Uh, who'll be in charge of emailing uh, tens or hundreds of Excels to colleagues. Uh, colleagues will fill in data mm -hmm. and the victim will be forced to kind of consolidate that data into one sheet. Mm -hmm. And th there are a number of problems with that approach. So it is impossible to handle versions. It is very hard to prevent people from entering data in different formats with uh, different ideas. So the one who has to consolidate uh, a report has to mm, uh, call them and uh, try to figure out what mm -hmm. they wanted to uh, really enter in the sheet. So uh, it is uh, one of uh, uh, processes that is uh, very common and uh, uses a lot of time in many many enterprises so mm -hmm. usually people who are uh, skillful uh, at Excel are selected to perform such tasks. Mm -hmm. Yeah and uh, we can say that um, uh, when we, we talk about improving on Excel Google has really done the most in that area where you can really work in the real time and can really connect with hundreds of people in your organization to uh, input in Google Sheets uh, at the same time and using it just seamlessly. Yeah, so Excel was a perfect table calculator without uh, internet, mm -hmm. without connectivity. So 
uh, in the world where you do not uh, work with other people, <laughs> where you do not co uh, collaborate, uh, Excel was really complete solution. Mm -hmm. You were able to access data from databases to, to convert various formats, but uh, with emails, with uh, internet, with uh, 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 this data gathering, uh, tasks is Excel. It's not really excelling, so it's it's not yeah. a very good solution. And especially with the advent of mobile and uh, browsers and uh, uh, way how people today uh, work with with data, mm -hmm. Excel became kind of a. Uh, a limiting factor that mm -hmm. is burdening a uh, number of enterprises and a lot of time and money and effort is spent mm -hmm. uh, uh, because of using uh, such a um, kind of on-prem tool that is mm -hmm. not really uh, internet ready. Yeah, uh, when we talk to our potential clients, a lot of times we see that uh, people are not really aware of uh, the capabilities of Google Sheets. Can you tell us a little bit more? Why is it like an Excel-like tool? Why is it so much more um, adaptable to the 21st century than Excel as we know it? Mm -hmm. So, in, in many enterprises today, we have a, a, a situation that people at home are using uh, public cloud artificial intelligence, they're using uh, Google Translate, they are using uh, Amazon for uh, purchasing, they are using uh, Facebook for social networking and that kind of stuff and suddenly uh, they go uh, to their workplace and mm -hmm. they jump into 90s, mm -hmm. so it, I wouldn't say it's pre-internet era but it's kind of a walled off area not part of the internet with a lot of uh, legacy applications and a lot of limitations mm -hmm. so for, uh, yeah so th that's one of the reasons why uh, uh, Excel is still uh, a tool that is used in such yeah. uh, environments but consequences are uh, lower efficiency and kind of a frustration. So younger generations are shocked when they see mm -hmm. yeah. uh, what tools are used uh, today at the workplace mm -hmm. because um, in, in uh, academic community, universities, uh, they are using mainly uh, more advanced tools and suddenly they jump into the museum of... Yeah. Uh, and if somebody has not still used uh, Google Sheets, mm -hmm. um, what, how does it look when you work so in Google Sheets? So the, basically, the idea of a uh, uh, Google Office uh, package called G Suite so th they are the leader in, in that area at the moment, but uh, they are not the only one. Mm -hmm. uh, is that when you are uh, using uh, internet, you would like to work with uh, other people simultaneously, mm -hmm. so they connected uh, uh, all their uh, uh, applications with uh, uh, public cloud in a way, that you can work with many people simultaneously on the same document. Mm -hmm. But uh, having all data in public cloud uh, allows you not only a collaboration, but it allows you also a number of uh, fairly advanced features like mm -hmm. y you can track all changes, history w without complexities mm -hmm. of uh, uh, former versions of uh, uh, applications and you can uh, handle security mm -hmm. in a way that you can allow not only on the level of a sheet but uh, on the level uh, of uh, each cell mm -hmm. uh, who can do what and when. Mm -hmm. So it, it comes with a lot of benefits and somehow, uh, well, one of uh, 
examples uh, when kids get shocked in, in mm -hmm. enterprise environments is that with the uh, older uh, applications you have to save your work on a disk or floppy disk or uh, hard disk or whatever while uh, if you are working on internet enabled applications mm -hmm. basically whatever you do is instantly saved and you have history so uh, uh, for younger people it it can happen that they forget to save Excel data and then everything is lost yeah. because uh, with internet applications you don't save uh, anything it's already uh, saved mm -hmm. at the moment w when you do it yeah and uh, from the perspective of the admins uh, they can also like uh, for instance uh, prevent people from sharing outside of their own domain uh, they can also impose some restrictions <laughs> So security, of course, in, in public cloud, it's much higher mm -hmm. and you have a number of data loss protection uh, mechanisms. You, you have a lot of analysis and it's much easier to protect your data mm -hmm. b because if people have data on their uh, USB sticks, mm -hmm. they're prone to be lost, yeah. they, they can be uh, mismanaged. So data can be encrypted, but then those encryptions rely on uh, usually not, not uh, a multi-factor authentication and that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. So b uh, basically, if uh, you are concerned with uh, security and privacy, those uh, internet tools are more evolved. They uh, allow you to track what's going on and to protect your valuable data. Mm -hmm. While mm -hmm. if people are using uh, uh, personal devices and uh, 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 they store data on some uh, USB sticks mm -hmm. that are quite popular, uh, today it is really mm -hmm. uh, mm, very hard to to mm -hmm. protect that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so uh, uh, also, if people are worried about the compatibility between Google Sheets and Excel, if they mm -hmm. want to just try and test uh, how Google Sheets work, um, we can say that Google really did an amazing job with uh, the compatibility and importing exporting from to Google Sheets. Yes. Tell more so about it? Uh, I would say that you can expect same level of uh, issues you have with different versions of Excel. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, for 99% uh, of data, mm -hmm. you will not have uh, any issues with formats with data mm -hmm. itself. Uh, so, one area that can be an issue is. Uh, a uh, visual basic for, for application or uh, macros or mm -hmm. uh, automation but good news is that uh, newer uh, internet enabled tools and especially google sheets mm -hmm. are capable of uh, uh, automation by using very easy integrated mm -hmm. uh, application development mm -hmm. tools uh, for scripts and uh, they are much uh, easier to work with mm -hmm. than, than with the uh, older tools. Yeah, so in a way we can say that um, Excel, it is not dead definitely, it is it still has its own very valuable place within corporations. Yeah, so f f regarding Excel, Microsoft basically developed a uh, um, web-based Excel mm -hmm. So th they are currently working on improving and catching up. So mm -hmm. Yeah. That, so basically one. now we have a game where Excel is still very strong within companies, but uh, at the same time Google already developed Google Sheets to the level which Microsoft now has to catch up in the new yes. internet world. So um, basically, what would be your recommendation? Can companies start using Google Sheets to improve on Excel and to improve on their work processes and uh, quick wins? Uh, what <coughs> could they be, for instance? Uh, so uh, quick wins are uh, introducing applications based on Google Sheets, mm -hmm. uh, allowing people to uh, uh, start 
uh, feeling the benefits mm -hmm. of uh, using uh, internet enabled applications mm -hmm. and later on uh, enabling people to do kind of a full migration and to uh, better uh, uh, collaborate with colleagues so mm -hmm. to get rid of this um, uh, uh, poor people who had to uh, gather yeah. data of, uh, around the company through emailing uh, mm -hmm. Excel sheets and that kind of stuff. So yeah. th that is one of the areas mm -hmm. uh, where quick wins can be mm -hmm. done in a period of one or two months. Yeah. And so the main point again is as the use device is the coexistence tool first and foremost and the multi-cloud tool. Companies can have both Excel and both Google Sheets and benefit from both. And that, that is the main idea between um, um, when we are talking about that. There is no need that people uh, gather like hundreds of Excel files and input mm -hmm. them at the same time. Excel is an amazing tool, but it should be used for what it is meant to be used for. <laughs> and um, uh, do you think that... Um, um, this game of coexistence is a sustainable one. Yes, so uh, there are uh, external uh, processes mm -hmm. that rely on very old uh, mm -hmm. formats and for, for example if uh, banks or some um, reporting needs rely on binary encrypted yeah. Excel files that uh, from version Excel 2007 or, or something mm -hmm. like that and obviously you'll have to provide some number of people with older versions because even newer versions of Excel will not be uh, supported and mm -hmm. you, you can have issues so but I, I would say this is uh, possible but uh, not really a, a case mm -hmm. for a lot of enterprises so you can uh, migrate most of your workforce mm -hmm. to internet-enabled applications. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so um, we will be talking about the advanced version of improving on Excel next time. So we will go into more details on how you can build your own applications, what could be the uh, real-life use cases, uh, uh, some of the things that we did with our, with our clients. Um, and um, is there anything else that you would like to add for today? Yeah, looking forward to advanced session. Yeah, me too. Thank you so much for watching today. Uh, we will be very happy to present uh, you with more quick wins and uh, advanced wins on Excel next time. And um, have a great day. Thank you. Bye. Bye.